Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are planning to take the Praxis Test 5164 for Middle School Mathematics, then I can help you review some of the types of problems you may find on the exam. Today I'm going to walk you through four middle school math problems. Let's jump right in. All right, the first question is as follows. Compare and order the following numbers from greater to lesser. We have 2, negative 5, 8, the absolute value of negative 3, and negative 9.37. So the value of this is this, is 3. So absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3. So knowing this, we can order them from greatest to least. So the highest number we have is 8. Then we have 3. Then we have 2. Next is negative 5. And finally, negative 9.37. We look over and we see that right here. And there's our answer. All right, now to our second question. Convert the following periodical decimal 1.3 repeating to a fraction. With repeating decimals, the number of decimal places is infinite. So we have to follow certain steps in order to convert it into a fraction. First, we use x uh, to equal our repeating decimal. So x equals 1.3, and I'm going to say repeating in this case for the last time. Then we multiply this equation by 10, and we'll get another equation. 10x equals 13.3. All right, now we're going to subtract the equation from the first step from the equation we got in the second step. So 10x equals 13.3, and we take away 1x equals 1.3. And we get 9x equals 12. We divide each side by 9, and we get x equals 12 over 9. Now we need to simplify that, and we get x equals 4 over 3. And we can check our answer. All right, we've reached the penultimate question for today, and we are asked which of the following properties applies to this expression here. All right, let's go through each of the properties. The distributive property. When you multiply each part separately and add the product, you get the same answer. So the example here is a times, in parentheses, b plus c equals, in parentheses, a times b plus, in parentheses, a times c. Okay? The next one is the associative property. That means for a given operation, rearranging the parentheses will not change the result. Let's look at the example. So in parentheses, 5 plus 2 plus 3 equals 5 plus, in parentheses, 2 plus 3, and they both equal 10. All right, the sum remains the same. The next one is the property of identity. So a number known as the identity can be added to, subtracted from, multiplied by, or divided into a number without changing the number. So, for example, we have y plus 0 equals y, y minus 0 equals y, y times 1 equals y, y divided by 1 equals y. All right. And the last one we're going to look at is the commutative property. The commutative property can only be used with addition and multiplication. We can change the position of the numbers, but it does not change the sum or the product. So, for example, we have 52 plus 24 equals 24 plus 52, or 17 times 5 equals 5 times 17. All right, so which one applies to this equation here? 
and let's look. It is exactly the same as the associative property. So the sum remains the same regardless of where the parentheses are. All right, so we can answer that question. There we go. All right, now we've come to our final question. Which of the following correctly represents 37.5%? The formula to find this is x over 100 multiplied by y. In this case, we have 37.5 over 100 times 8, which is the same as 37.5 over 100 times 8. 8 over 1. All right, so we're going to multiply 37.5 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 7 is 56 plus 4 is 60. 8 times 3 is 24 plus, plus 6 is 30. With one decimal point, we're at 300. All right, so now we're at... 300 and 100 times 1 is 100 over 100, which is equal to 3. So our answer is there. I hope that helps to answer your questions and gain a greater understanding of the topics. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on test day. Bye for now.